Phew, we have this 2 to the 18th plus 1, which is obviously pretty large, and we wish to prime factorize it. If this was 2 to the 18th minus 1, the, the first place to go is pretty obvious. You can factor it as difference of squares, 2 to the 9th plus 1, and 2 to the 9th plus 1, and go on from there. But this one, this one seems crazy. You have 2 to the 18th, and instead of minus, you have plus 1. So there isn't anything that stands out to it at the first look because this thing is not odd you cannot you cannot just apply sum of sum of some uh, sum of some odd power like sum of cubes so what do we do do we just give up <laughs> no we are actually going to figure this out well one way you may say is to actually find the 2 to the 18th which is going to take you some time 2 to the 10th is 1024 so 2 to the 18th is going to be 1024 times 256 you can actually multiply this out add one to it and try to prime factorize that but obviously that's going to take some time and you're going to have to try out some a lot of prime factors before you actually reach the conclusion that you are actually done prime factorizing it so maybe there is a way to maybe simplify this expression or factor this expression before we do anything crazy hmm well this expression looks very close to 2 to the 9th plus 1 squared which is 2 to the 18th plus 2 times 2 to the 9th plus 1. If, you, if you're confused on how I'm getting this, uh, remember that x plus y squared is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. In our case, our x is 2 to the 9th, our y is 1. So you have 2 to the 9th squared, which is 2 to the 18th, plus 2 times our x, which is 2 to the 9th, times y, which is 1, plus y squared. So you know this expression comes out to be very close to our original expression, 2 to the 18th plus 1 plus 2 times 2 to the 9th. Hmm. So what do we know? We know 2 to the 9th plus 1 squared minus, well this thing is the same thing as 2 to the 10th, because you have 10 twos, minus 2 to the 10th has to be 2 to the 18th plus 1. If you're saying what? Well, you have 2 to the 9th plus 1 squared being equal to 2 to the 18th plus 1. So if you subtract 2 to the 10th from both sides, subtract this out, you should get 2 to the 18th plus 1 is 2 to the 9th plus 1 squared minus 2 to the 10th. So we have this expression being equal, being equal to our original expression. And what can you do anything with this expression? Yes, you can. It's a difference of squares. You have 2 to the 9th plus 1 squared minus 2 to the 5th squared. Aha! You have something going on. You have 2 to the 9th plus 1 minus 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 9th plus 1 plus 2 to the 5th. And you may say, wow, well, what's going on? Well, x squared minus y squared is the same thing as x minus y times x plus y. Our x is 2 to the 9th plus 1, our y is 2 to the 5th, so we are just, uh, we are just plugging this in to, to match the difference of squares. And we may be able to do something with this expression. 2 to the 9th is, well, 2 to the 10th is 1024, so 2 to the 9th is 512 plus 1. You can actually multiply it out if you want to. You have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. So you can actually multiply it out if you guys wish to. And 2 to the fifths is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 32 times 512 plus 1 plus 32. And let's try to simplify this. 512 minus 32 is 480. Adding 1 to it gets us 481 and this expression 512 plus 33 is 545 and this thing is obviously divisible by 5 so let's do that you have 481 times 5 times 109 so I'm splitting 545 into 5 times 109 what can you do well you gotta check if 481 is prime are uh, those 481 have any prime factors well uh, there is lots of factors to test but what you only have to test the prime factors up to for a square root of 481 and square root of 481 is about 
22 because 22 squared is 484. So you really only have to test if 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19 go into 481. If the prime, if the primes below the square root of 481 go into 481. So let's try dividing 481 by each of this. Well, 281 is obviously not divisible by 2 because it's odd. 481, when you add up the digits, 4 plus 8 plus 1 is 13, which is not divisible by 3. And how about 5? It doesn't end in 0 or 5, so not 5. Try dividing by 7. 481 divided by 7. 6, 42, 61, 7, not 7, 8. 8, let's not mess this up. 8, 56, remainder of 5. Nope. How about 11? Well, one way to check divisibility by 11 is to, is to subtract 4 minus 8, then add 1 to it. You want to go back and forth with the sign, starting with minus. And you do not get multiple of 11. You get negative 3, which is not multiple of 11, so 11 is out. Another way is to actually try dividing by 11. How about 13? 481 divided by 13. Where 13 goes to 48, not 3 times, and you have 91 left. Hey, there you go. 13 indeed goes into our expression. So our 481, let's rewrite, let's go right here is equal to 13 times 37, and we also have 5 times 109, so we are done. We have 5, 13, 37, and 109. So you have 2 to the 18th plus 1, let me just write it up here, 2 to the 18th plus 1 is equal to 5 times 13 times 37 times 109, and we are done. And the main thing to get out of this video is that we can force a difference of squares to be made by using the fact 2 to the 18th plus 1 looks very similar to 2 to the 9th plus 1 squared and subtracting 2 to the 10th which gets us difference of squares which we can factor and reduce and work with.